All right, Dave, uh, Evander Kane's here. You used the word juice to describe the energy level. Was there uh, a different level of that today? Just finally seeing it come to fruition and seeing him out there, the new line combinations and those sort of things. Well, you hope so. You know, he hasn't played for a while, so you've got to recognize he's got to get up to speed. Uh, I like the way our team's been playing the last few games, so you're, uh, you know, you changed up a couple things on the, on the lines here. We've been talking about trying to get deeper at the forward group for a long time. We look deeper, but that being said, we've got to go and play like a good group that way. How many different conversations and permeations did you have with the actual line combos before you elected to go with what you uh, it's, There's lots, and some of it was depending a little bit on about some injury stuff this morning, but uh, everybody looks ready to go, so we'll, uh, we'll try to go with the, with the three centermen. We've talked about it for a while. We'll see how it goes tonight. What are you specifically looking for from Nugent Hopkins with Hyman and Kaskin? Well, they can be a real solid line. Like if you look at Nugent and uh, Hyman kill together, Cass is a big body there. We're trying to play uh, a real hard puck possession game in the offensive zone. They, they have the ability to do that. Nugent and Hyman touch uh, both special sides of special teams. So um, just trying to get where we feel like our lineup is a little deeper and uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. Dave, can you take us to the decision to go with uh, Stuart Skinner tonight? Just uh, Koski's played uh, played a few in a row here. We're coming. We'd like to get Skinner in a game on the road trip. Uh, felt like this was the right game for him. Uh, it looks like Chris Russell slated to uh, suit up tonight. It'll be his 900th NHL yeah. game. Talk about the miles on yeah. that body and what that means to his group. Amazing accomplishment for a young player, or for a, uh, not a young player. <laughs> I, uh, I remember talking about him. I was coaching in Dallas. We talked about drafting him way back when, and uh, to go on 900 games. And we were talking about drafting him as an offensive defenseman. He's turned into the best shot blocker in the history of the game. So uh, it's, uh, it's amazing how that goes. But it's a phenomenal feat. The guy who plays as hard as he has, and 900 is a great accomplishment for him. Okay, a couple questions on Zoom. Daniel, your moment. Go ahead. Hi, Dave. Uh, you, you know, you, you touched on Evander Kane not having much uh, experience this year, only the five games. Uh, what, are, what are your expectations uh, of him tonight? How would you kind of, uh, I know you obviously haven't skated with Connor but, uh, right now, but how, how do you kind of foresee kind of working him in as he gets his legs under him here? Well, we'll see how it goes. Depends on, uh, he says his conditioning is good. He's, he hasn't played a lot this year. It's going to take some time to get him up and going, but we, uh, I think he'll play with lots of energy today. And we'll just take it day by day with him. I think he's anxious to get going. We'll see what he can bring. Just in regards to your um, your fourth line there, with with uh, putting McLeod at center and, and Ryan on the on the right wing, what went into that? Just because uh, I just wonder because uh, you know you had McLeod at the uh, on the left wing a couple games ago, and, and Ryan's predominantly played center. So how do you kind of fit the way, that? The way that'll work is the, the centerman and the right winger will interchange. I've done it before on some other teams where. You have a right, right shot centerman and a left shot centerman. Uh, they'll be strength on their draws, whichever side they're on. And they're both, uh, or, uh, Ryan and Shore are penalty killers from down there. McLeod plays a second power play. So, um, you know, two centermen, it's, it's never hurt to have two centermen on a line. It gives you good flexibility. John Liu, go ahead. Hi, Dave. I'm wondering, is there a possibility that Evander Kane might play a little bit of the net front on your first power play unit? You saw him alternating with Jesse uh, during reps this morning, or would he be on your second? Uh, well, ours, ours kind of, we don't have your typical one and two. There's different looks we look for each time, depending on what we're looking for. The one thing that uh, Kane gives us is We've had Hyman and Pugliarvi there as right-hand shots. Kane gives us a net front presence with a left-hand shot. So just read and react how the game's going, what we feel like we could uh, we could accomplish with it with, with some different options. Thanks, Dave. Mark Spector, go ahead. Morning, Dave. Uh, I know there's always been, uh, you know, searching for, the, for depth here, right, among your forwards. And I know you've got these two great centermen and you've always you know, Nugent Hopkins and Hyman have always played with them because you got to have good wingers for your good centers. How's that all going to change when you spread it out? Is, is, does, does McDavid and Dreisaitl have to change their game in any way in order for all this depth to work? No, they don't change their game, but 
we're just hoping to have more depth that, that make us a stronger team. You know, it's uh, we've talked about it for a while. Um, you know, I think if you looked at a lot of people, the perception of our team is, you know, you got McDavid line and Dreisaitl line, and then after that, it's just kind of pick them. We want to get to be a deeper team where teams look at us and say, hey, they're a deep team. They can throw four lines at you and, you know, real good depth on all four lines. So that's, uh, we've talked about it for a long time. We're going to try it and see how it goes. <laughs> when, when we think of the classic third line center, right, we think of all the, you know, the modern guys, Phil, Phil Deneau, and the Geek Carbonos, you know, the hard checking, good face off man. Does Nugent Hopkins like? Is that the role he plays? Is he gonna? Are, one, are you? The one key that? aspect. The one key aspect of all those guys that you mentioned, they're all smart players. They read situations well, and Nuge is in that category. Nuge is really in that category. So, uh, you know, he's a smart player. We uh, he makes other people around him better, and that's what we're looking for.